Okay, so uh, welcome to the next experiment on uh, diffraction grating. So you are supposed to find out the wavelength of a laser light. So here is the laser, let me just rotate it for you. So here is the laser, this is being powered over here and let me just switch on. So you can see a red light coming out. So this is a, basically a semiconductor laser. I am going to turn it on and I am going to let it pass through this grating, diffraction grating. So you can see the grating is actually a rectangular piece which is having multiple slits there inside. So there are three gratings given here, 100, 300 and 600. What we will do is we will use only the 100 lines per mm and let the laser light fall on the 100 lines per mm. Okay. So let's adjust this position let's keep it at whatever is the fixed position between the laser and the grating we will not change it whatever be it okay now next we have considered a screen and you can see that after diffraction and interference the spots have been formed onto the screen okay but if you need to uh, study these different spots the interference spots you need to use a graph sheet Let's take a graph sheet and pin up here, it's a penthouse. Okay, done. Now next our job is to keep the distance between the diffraction grating and the stream at 50. So you can see I am choosing a scale here and I am just adjusting the distance between the grating and the screen to be 15 centimeter. I'm going to keep it at 15 centimeter. Okay. Now you can see these are the spots. Those the patterns of interference patterns are there. Now let's find out which is the central pattern. So how do we do that? So usually students tend to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and they will say the sixth or the seventh one is the center. So if there are 12 points, how can you say 6th is center or 7th is center? If there are 11, you will say uh, the 6th one is the center, right? If there is an odd number. But that is not exactly the truth. If you want to find the center, you should move the screen very slow away from the grating. And you will see, except one of the spots, all others will move away. So, You can see I am going far away, doing it parallelly and the, this one is the center, the one which did not move, okay, fine. Now let us bring it back again to 15 centimeter, we are moving it slowly, let us again set it up to 15 centimeter, good, done. Now our next job is to take a pencil and mark the central spot, let us put a big arrow or something and then mark the other spots. So the one which is next to the center that will be the first order, the one afterwards will correspond to second order, like that you have to keep on marking, okay. Now let me just show you how it looks like once I do the marking. So I am bringing in one graph sheet in case students are already done. Let me just fix it over here. Okay. So this is corresponding to the center which a particular student had got and that points nearby are the first order, then is the second order, then is the third order, then it is the fourth order like that. Okay. So we take at least till 4 to 5 orders for 15 centimeter distance. Okay. Now what we do next is to find the distance between the first order with respect to the center. So distance between these two points is being taken 
here. So that is found to be 2. So this distance is what we consider as 2x. 2x1 I will say because it is for the first order. Now for the next second order points, distance between the second order points, we take two lines parallel and connect and mention whatever is the distance. So here it is 4.2. What is the unit actually? That is in centimeter. Because why is it in centimeter? You are measuring it with over the graph with a normal scale. Normal scale is in centimeter range. Okay. And you are considered every unit to be 1 centimeter. Okay. Now 4.2 centimeter you are getting for second order, similarly for third order and fourth order. Based on these values, we will have to do the further calculations. So this is for 15 centimeter distance.